Hey everybody, welcome back to GIRLs. This is Rachel. This is Princess Mashed Potatas. And this is Cat Bunny. And uh, we did. Oh god. Oh my god. Wait, whoa. <laughs> whoa, okay. Um, Cat Bunny got us, uh, got oh. us a bit further along. Um, she did very well. Sort of. She just climbed back down to work. Yeah, I know. I, well, that's. I thought this was going to climb me up, so. <laughs> I'm going to have to, oh, I know what I have to do. Okay. So now I have to, okay. We're, uh, I get it. I get it. We're doing I know. This. I don't get it. So I'm I glad do. you do. You'll did. see. Okay. You'll, you'll see. Uh, I'll see. Cat Bunny, did you say you had a creepy story? Um, It was something I had read on the internet. Uh, let me go hang on a second. Hey, guess what I forgot to do? Oh, well, start the timer? It's only been like a minute. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> About like it was just like it was like a creepy pasta story, and it's about a two-year-old girl who had like way, way, way back when when they had tombs and a bombing, and this was in uh, Italy. So he, um, this two-year-old girl died of pneumonia, mm-hmm. and the father was very dismayed at this fact and had taken the girl to a very specific um, doctor or a momer, I guess, in order to, uh, and he was really good. Like, he mm-hmm. had come up with this, like, um, this formula that was really good at, um, preserving the bodies. I think I've seen something about And, this like, she still looks perfectly right. preserved. Like, yeah. she's, they call her the Sleeping Beauty, and she's in these, these, she was the last, one of the last interments, I guess, into these catacombs or these mm-hmm. tombs. And, like, sometimes it looks like, I guess because of the way the light goes and everything like that, that maybe she is, um, that she's, like, her eyes, like, look like they open. Oh, weird. And they have, they showed, like, a time lapse of it, of, and it's really creepy. Oh, I didn't see that. I've just heard. Um, but I, I guess it turned out that, like, they moved her a little bit and, whoa, okay. I didn't realize it did it up there, too. Okay, I gotta do the thing again. Alright, I gotta keep doing this again. So, and that was, it was really cool though. Like, it was, oh damn, I gotta wait for that to fall back down. Um, <laughs> so that was my, that was my, it was really, it was creepy. And like, but you look at the picture and she seriously, and this is where, this is where I get caught by stuff like this because I'm, like I said in a previous episode about me and empathy and feeling feelings like really mm-hmm. deeply like, I could easily look at her and just, like, see my own child. And oh, it, like, got, it, so it got me to the point, like, I'm like, oh, hey, I can't read this story anymore. But, yeah. like, it was really, it was really interesting. I gotta make it, I gotta make it, I gotta make it. See, and I didn't even consider oh, that. Oh, oh, no. no. I wasn't expecting it to, like. See, uh. my thought when you are telling that story was, where can I get some of this stuff so that I can uh, mess with? All my relatives after I die, mm-hmm. and yeah. uh, have that in my will. <laughs> Get myself you. creepy and bombed so that they have to look at me right forever. That was they, my uh, creepy thought. They can have all oh, of I your wealth. Do, as I gotta. Long as they oh, keep you I gotta go and coffin, do the thing. Coffee table. Hmm. They can have all of your wealth as long as they keep you in a glass coffin coffee uh-huh. table. Yeah, exactly. I gotta do Actually, everything all I don't want to be in a glass coffin coffee table. I want to be like sat up in like a <laughs> easy chair. <laughs> Sure. Relaxing. Nice. Maybe uh, they could also preserve my cat mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. and put him on my lap. I've heard that they do that. <laughs> um. Do isn't the girl like in glass though? She is in glass, but she still just looks like a sleeping two-year-old child. Right. Like really, like really, not even. She doesn't even look like a person that. Like, when a person dies and you go to, like, um, yeah. a funeral home. Like, not even, and you can tell. Like, you can't, like, she looks like she's sleeping. I was just wondering if they would have to put Princess Mashed Potato's easy chair in glass. Mm. It probably helps. Yeah. Well, I like, mean... And, they, and they've done, like, x like x-rays or whatever of her. Like, I guess they took the thing in there and did it. Mm-hmm. And, like, even, like... Oh, I was supposed to go up there, guys. Maybe they could, um have a cat door on it though so that whatever cats you have in the future like when you die they can just come in and oh i'm not gonna have any more cats no no okay 
I'm yeah. allergic to cats. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here we go Don't again. Don't stop me. That's well, well, right. We're see, not I'm allergic to cats, again. too, and it doesn't stop me. I don't need to have a glass coffin because I'm going to be living in a plastic bubble. So they can just use my the plastic bubble, plastic bubble All right. to preserve me in. Right, I completely messed this up. I really want a bubble. Um. <laughs> yeah. So, completely changing topics here. Yes. Completely. So I went to Germany once. Yes. I need to die so I can... I need to die! <laughs> so I can restart this because I did this wrong, so I'm going to... Oh, oh you can't even... I can't even die. <laughs> I'll stand right there. Maybe that'll kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just silently watching, like, what's going to happen? Why did you have to die? Why because I messed just up. go up and go to the ladder and then drop the ladder? Other I don't ladder know. Down? I don't know, because I could have, and you're right about that. Because the little boy needs to be punished. <laughs> for doing because I got confused about what, <laughs> what I had done. I don't uh, know. You're right, and I could have done that. And I don't know why I didn't do that. It's also just fun to watch him die. It is true. It's it true. Okay, so, so Germany. So there are a lot of good stories Do- from one. Germany. Yes. Um, but my favorite one, maybe I shouldn't tell my favorite one first. Maybe I, I should save my favorite story it. for another time. Mm, no, why? I mean, that... This is a good story. Do it's not, well, it's not going to be a good story now, because like I built it up episode? too much. Yeah. Okay. So tell the other story now. Okay, I'll tell the second good story. And then they'll have to watch the next episode. See, exactly. Out. That right. was my okay, plan. Good. Good, good, I'm, good. I'm okay. a creative genius. We're learning how to do this. Yes. <laughs> So, I um, in Germany, I went to Germany when I was 16, and uh, I went with a bunch of friends, and we stayed with other kids over there, so there weren't any, like, parents that we knew now, mm-hmm. you know? So, like, lots of hijinks were uh, had. Ensued? Yeah, ensued. That's a good word. And um, so, one day, my friend and I decided that we should get water guns, okay. and we should drench everybody in the park with our water guns and we thought it would be really really funny because that's the kind of people we were was this the 2000s so you were doing this in german nine late 90s what are we what are we talking Mm, yeah like mid 90s okay so you went to a park in germany and sprayed a bunch of germans (laughs) <laughs> uh, we went because we were there okay so it was a group of american kids okay. and we stayed in the houses of a group of german kids the german kids had come over here first it was like an exchange thing right and they had come over here so we knew them we we're friends with them and most of the people that we went over there were friends with because mm-hmm. you know if you're in high school you're not going anywhere without your friends even germany um and oh. so we knew them it's not like i we got water guns to what spray is going on here? Okay. total strangers, but right. that's completely like not even part of okay. the story. We thought it was really funny. We, because we would just hang out in the park all day and drink. We didn't go to school or anything because <laughs> that is also the kind of kids we were. And, um, but in Germany, you have to pay to use the restrooms. Oh, okay. Um, and so we snuck into this restroom in order to fill our water guns up with water. I can't because I make it. Oh, oh, I know. I know now. Okay. Um, so you had to pay to get into the restroom. Right, but we snuck in. Yeah. And then the restroom lady who's supposed to monitor the restroom came in and saw us, like, stealing water. Oh. And started screaming at us in German, Kein Wasser! Kein Wasser! And, like, she chased us all the way out to the park yelling, Kein Wasser! And she was, like, this really old. It was funnier. Oh. It was funnier when it uh, happened. So there's, like, a, an actual person that you pay. Yeah. There, there was, like, an actual lady whose job it is to police the bathroom. Because I was wondering if, like, I assumed it was, like, a pay stall or something. No, and as there like was one an person actual lady. And go and hold the door for everybody else. And I'm not sure where she was when we first snuck in. I mean, any place else, I'd assume she was on a bathroom break. Right. <laughs> maybe she has a special bathroom. Yeah, maybe. But they, <laughs> they're very protective of their water, which I, I can get. I can see, but I mean, super huh. productive. Maybe she was chasing other people away from the bathroom when we snuck in there, because she certainly left the bathroom to chase us, mm. like, several blocks away into a park, because we stole water. Maybe the water was contaminated, and she was trying to warn you. Maybe. 
Good thing we were spraying it at other people and not ourselves. Right. What's one more group of American children with guns? <laughs> uh, <laughs> for some reason, I forgot what I had done previously, and so it took me a while to kind of remember what I was supposed to do, and I'm just like, All right. I don't know. All right. Now I remember. Oh, wait, I don't want that to be that far. I don't more. have any good uh, other... <gasps> oh. Well, oh. the only other country that I've been to was Mexico. And that was just uh, for a weekend. I went with my older brother. Um, and it was fun. But, you know, not a lot happened. I went uh, to my first ever strip club. Mm, with my, that's exciting. With, my brother. with your brother <laughs> in Mexico? In Mexico. Um, surprisingly enough, I have not never been to Mexico. You've not never I've, been? I've, I've never been. Oh. I've not been. I've. Not Nor have I neither been. I've been to Canada. I've been to Germany, with a few layovers in other countries. Mm-hmm. I've been to almost all the states except for Hawaii and Alaska, um, but never Mexico, which is interesting since I'm half Mexican. <laughs> that is interesting. I mm-hmm. never really thought about that. Do yeah. you? Um, do you know anything about, like, what part of Mexico your Mexican part comes from? Uh, Mexico City. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. My dad was born in Mexico City. And, yeah. That's exciting. Oh, well, not really. <laughs> I've never really been anywhere. <laughs> I have no culture. <laughs> That's exciting I've been to, to California. <laughs> yeah? You've been to um, Oregon and Washington. Yeah, but that's, like, over there is the only... Other real place that I've ever... Like, I've been to the Bahamas, but does that really count? Yes, it's another country. I was hoping that... I've not been to the Bahamas. When I went to Mexico, I didn't even have to have a passport. Do you know who else went to the Bahamas? Christopher Columbus. Oh. He's a jerk. He's a jerk. (laughs) It's true. I agree. (laughs) Do you know who else went to the Bahamas? Who? My dad went one time. Oh, yeah? He's not a jerk, though. He's okay. Okay, good. <laughs> he didn't He didn't plunder the natives? Well, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. All right. So, my problem is I need to jump off that thing before I die and get crushed on the ceiling. <laughs> um, I'm having a harder time controlling this because I have a cat. Perched in my lap That's now. True. Uh, you're welcome to throw her on the floor if you'd like. Yeah, maybe after this episode, or if you can't come up to like a better understanding. <laughs> oh, 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 oh you, how did you survive that? I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know how else I could possibly do this than what well, I'm doing. We'll give it some more attempts next time. On GRLs? Girls. On Bye. girls. Bye, GRL. girls. GRLs. 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 Bye. Bye. Girls. I come home in the morning light. My mother yells when you're gonna live your life right. Oh, mother dear, we're not the fortunate ones. And girls, they wanna have fun. Oh, girls, they wanna have fun.